All right, folks, welcome back to Procreate. So we're going to go through and we're going to talk about Procreate as it relates to photos. Now, Procreate is not a replacement for, say, Affinity Photo or any professional photo editing program. But I think that a lot of times it gets a bad rap because there are some basic things that you're able to do. Now, this will not turn Procreate into a master's class in photography editing. However, we will be able to use some of the techniques to mask out some layers and to apply some selections with some transformations to practice what we've taught in earlier lessons into this application. So let's go ahead and start by opening up a new document and I'm going to go by 1500 wide by 2300 tall. So this is going to be more of a portrait orientation. All right. And I'm going to bring this thing down super small. Boy, okay, Procreate does not want to cooperate today. All right, so let's go ahead, come over to the action, and let's go ahead and insert a photo. Now, I put this photo in here for your downloads for this lesson, and this comes from Pexels. And I'm just going to go ahead and expand this out just slightly and orient it just about right there. All right, that looks good. All right, let's go ahead and kill that. Now, I'm going to do kind of a surrealistic style portrait. So a, st a surrealistic style portrait is going to have larger head. It's going to have bigger eyes. Maybe we're going to increase the hair a little bit. And we're also going to shrink down the arms to make them quite frail. So these are the hallmarks of a surrealistic portrait. And so this is what I want to do with this image. And then when we get done here, we're going to color grade this image to show you what's possible with masking layers. So even if you're not interested in doing photograph editing on the Procreate uh, program, realize that this is more than just the Procreate program doing editing. This is about learning selection, masking, and all of the tools that you're going to need going forward. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do here I'm going to make sure that I'm on layer one and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rename this and I'm going to call this base. Now, I'm going to start by making the head a little bit larger. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up. I'm going to grab my selection tool and my friend is going to be freehand selection. Okay, now, so we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. And you want to go to the outside of this thing. And I'll tell you why here in a second. We're now going to copy and paste. Okay. Now, what did that do to our layers? The copy paste function created it as a new layer. And now we're going to come in to the transformation. I'm going to make sure that I'm on uniform so that I keep the perspective the same, or I should say the aspect ratio. And then I'm going to crank it up a certain percentage. Now, you remember when I said we're going to go to the outside? Well, what we're going to do now we're going to take this image and you see how there's this hard line right about here between the hair where the new image starts and where it stops. Go ahead and blow this up a little bit for you. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to erase some of that. Now, my eraser of choice is my soft airbrush. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over to my eraser. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the face. And I'm going to use a larger brush, and I'm just going to brush out anywhere where that might crop up. Okay, now, go through there to check what's going on. Look around the outside here, and let's turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. You're going to want to erase anything that makes it look really, truly, like, strangely unnatural. And when I say unnatural, I know it's fantasy, so it's not going to be perfect, but you see down there on the chin area there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring that in. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to blow up the eyes a little bit. So let's go ahead, zoom in on the eyes. Now let's go ahead and duplicate the head layer, and now let's work on the eyes. Actually, I apologize. Delete that. Let's just go ahead and select, and we'll do the copy-paste. Why make it harder than it has to be? Okay, I don't get the eyebrows in the selection. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and copy paste. Notice here, this creates that eye. And now I'm gonna transform that eye. Make sure it's uniform so that you move it up the same way. And we're gonna go ahead and increase the eye. Now, in order to center them, we're gonna come in with the N, we're gonna drop the opacity, I'm going to grab my transformation, and I wanna move it until the pupil is centered again. And then, I just come in here, and I raise it up. All right, let's do the same thing now for the other eye. Make sure you're on the face layer. Now we're gonna come in here, we're going to select freehand selection, and I'm selecting with my other hand there to make sure that I don't interrupt where I'm looking at the video, so it's not the best selection on the man. And copy paste. All right, now this one needs to be blown up. So transformation, Let's go ahead and turn off selection and make sure we're on the right one. All right, now let's blow that up. We blew that up a little bit far. And let's go ahead and shrink that down a little bit. And now with transformation, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna align the pupils. That looks pretty good. We're gonna turn off that transformation, crank up that layer. All right, one more thing to do here with our soft brush. So we'll just go ahead and work on the layer we're working with. We're gonna come in. We're going to then come around this side and we're going to eliminate the hard edge, okay? And when I looked for photos, I intentionally found one that didn't need a tremendous amount of work around the eyes because I wasn't trying to match like skin tone. That's a whole other jam. So we now come into here. We have our eraser brush, and we're going to just go ahead and erase. All right. And now, just a sanity check. Let's go ahead, turn it off, turn it on. Turn it off, turn it on. Looks natural. As natural as a surrealistic fantasy portrait can, so before I get the hate mail. All right. Let's go ahead and zoom this out. See what we got. All right, I like her. Let's go ahead and stop this one here and notice that you did some freehand selection, you did some transformation, you extended the head, and the last thing that I will probably do now, let's go ahead and select all of these. We'll just select the base two. Let's group them. And now with the group selected, we're just gonna flatten. Boom, that becomes our new norm. Let's go ahead and call it on this one.